On the 16th day of Vlogmas, what does Sandy Mom have for you? Ak egli te, ak egli te, six guys to two gun acid. Do you all have your egli te up? Christmas tree that would be. <clears throat> we don't. Not yet. Before I start about my little chit chat today, I wanted to mention I was watching someone's haul and they had bought a piece of meat. It wasn't humongous by any means. Um, it was a pork loin. And I think that's a pretty good cut of meat, I think. I don't know. I haven't ate meat in so long. I wouldn't know. Plus the prices nowadays. But anyhow, it wasn't very big. If you've ever had an eye of round roast, they're usually on the smaller side unless they come bigger and our store just doesn't have them. But it's it's the size of, I don't know if you, well, everyone's different. I was going to say, like when I make a meatloaf back in the day when I used to have meat, um, I would shape it into a meatloaf. I don't know. Let's think of a ruler. It's about, uh, okay, we think of a dollar bill. A dollar bill, I think, is six inches long. Someone told me once, a dollar, if you don't have a tape measure and need to measure some, a dollar bill is six inches. You know, I never measured it. So, it's worked out pretty good for me, though. Um, so, let's see, six, seven, about eight inches long, I'd say. Not very big. I mean, you could just, it's not big. Anyhow, when they were showing it in their vlog, and um, I don't know why they happened to turn around, because there was no, like, you know how they give information about what's in there? They were saying it was pretty clean. Not meaning that it's dirty meat. It's, you know... The ingredients are clean. How some people eat clean. But anyhow, when I saw the price, I almost fell off my chair. It was fifty nine ninety seven, almost sixty dollars for a piece of meat that would feed um maybe two people. Well, it depends how you eat. I think two people could eat it in one meal, but two people and maybe a sandwich for each of them the next day. Almost sixty dollars for a pork loin roast. I remember we used to cook on the grill a pork loin it was longer maybe 10 inches maybe 12 and it was definitely not that that big you know like um i don't know what's girth does girth mean side to side but anyhow it was, it's skinny but anyhow it used to be 7.99 um that was quite a long time ago but still almost 60 dollars I don't know if I ever get to go to the grocery store soon before this snow continues. Um, I just want to look at these these things, the this pork loin. I don't understand, <laughs> but anyhow. So I was going to talk about the first day of snow. This is what we consider the first day of snow, what we had. So it'll be yesterday. You're going to watch it today. So I, I think I had mentioned in my other vlog or... Our little friend there, Miss Penguin, mentioned, who knows, or we had a conversation between us, I don't know. But anyhow, I was going to go to the, um, where was I going to go? Don't remember, but I had a go. It was either to the drugstore or to the bank. And they said, oh, the snow, and it was going to be awful and everything. So in the morning, I went to throw out some garbage, and all I had on was my pajama pants and I have a sleeveless shirt that I wear all the time so I wear to bed with my light hoodie and I had that on but I had just a little heavier hoodie on and I just went out like that the, the tote I put by the house so it'll be closer and then um, I also went down to the road to bring up the totes there are four of them so I brought those up and um, never got the um, Recycle one down, recyclable one down because I did it by myself. I do it by myself. Polly just can't do it. So usually um, when he falls asleep or he's resting, I will go out and do it so he doesn't know I'm doing it because then he wants to help and he really can't do it. But let me tell you, I almost passed out, literally. I had to stop. I was bringing two back empty ones, and I was so out of breath. It was awful. Um... And I think because of the heat of my body, I didn't feel how actually cold it was because it was cold. Um, 
because when I was coming back in, I looked back to make sure I put the totes far enough where I wanted them, and I saw the my window, the windshield was totally frozen, the top was frozen, but it has been every morning, but still, it was, it, it was past that stage of frozen where it's like, there wasn't sun really, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but anyhow, it was cold, and it didn't feel that cold to me, but anyhow, so then, um, I was thinking, that, well, it said the storm wasn't going to come till 1, then it changed 1 p.m., then it changed to 11, originally it was going to be 7 a.m., they started closing some schools the day before out farther, like in the boondogs, boondoggles, boon, boons, out, out farther than us where it snows more quicker. Um, but, you know, I got scared with the snow pieces of my car. And um, it, it probably wasn't a pharmacy thing. Oh, yeah, it was something that we didn't pick up, and they said it was the last day to get it. That's why we had to go get it, or else they put it back, then you got to call them, and then they punish you and make you wait a long time. It's great. There's so many mean people in the world. There's a vlog coming with a vent. A vent. Oh, my gosh. I am going to talk about it. I'm still not over how upset I got from that. But anyhow, so lo and behold, um, so I was doing whatever I was doing, and then... I um I heard oh before I forget we have birds everywhere oh my finger I'm sorry my thumb shouldn't the birds be gone well by now they're always gone but we have them by my back kitchen window and of course by my bedroom window and they are so loud literally at times in the kitchen because the windows off to the side where I'd I'd have to move and moving is hard for me and moving my neck and my achy bones from arthritis um. I don't move, but I literally think they're right in the house. They are so loud. There must be tons of them. So I don't know what happened. Is this a sign about the, the planet because the birds don't know where to go in the south? I don't know. But to the subject, what I was trying to get at, this won't be a long video, I promise you. Um, so around 1.30, all of a sudden I heard like tapping kind of noise. So I looked, I went to the front, and it started... Like, um, I don't know. I, I don't know if they, they didn't call it on the weather grapple, but it sounded like grapple where it's like ice pals come down. So it was like kind of freezing rain, but hard pieces were coming down. It came down very fast, very hard. And basically everything looked like a sheet of ice. So I thought, okay, there's that decision. We're not going because, um, I haven't looked at my tires in a long time. Pretty sure they're not very good. Hopefully they're not bald, but no. And then after that, it started a light snow. And that is the worst case. Well, no, there's more. The black ice is the worst, but that's one of the worst case scenarios. You got ice under the snow. And the snow's falling gently, so if people missed out on the bing, bang, boom, ice, rain, grapple, whatever you want to call it, thing, they're like, oh, this is great. We can continue on with our, probably their Christmas shopping. So I thought, no, it's just not worth it to go to the drugstore. We got to go up kind of like a hill thing. And in this kind of weather, the car could be, you know, slipping backwards if you're at a red light. I don't have, I don't have, a, I have an automatic, but still, it's so slippery. So, um... I decided not to go, and the main reason I decided that we shouldn't go is when it snows, like I said, we had a, we had some snow, that was just, it didn't really stick, it came, it didn't stick, and there wasn't the ice with it at all, so um, I didn't go because people forget how to drive, they could have lived here for their entire life, but every year it's the same thing, there are a lot of accidents on the first day of the real, and I wouldn't consider this the real snow, but they considered it because of other areas, I mean, we didn't have, I mean, you could walk outside and, well, you'd have wet, I'd have wet sneakers because mine are all old and no tread and yuck, but, I mean, you could go out there, it's not that much, you could see your footprints in the snow on the grass and whatever, but the ice, and you know, Paulie had just said the other day when I was putting an Instacart order, and, Mommy, do you have the salt? And I'm like, yeah, I have salt, and I didn't catch on, he meant salt outside, you have to put it. And to put enough salt, I have quite a long walkway to my driveway and a very long driveway. And unfortunately, if you buy salt by the smallest, well, I don't even know if they have salt with the shortages, but the smallest package I would buy is 10 pounds because I can't lift a lot. And that's, that's nothing new. I just can't lift a lot. When I used to bowl, my bowling ball was 8 pounds. 
I blowed with my first husband on a league. So anyhow, to buy a 10-pound bag of ice, even back in the day before all this was a lot of money. So I wouldn't probably need the 50-pound bags, and I'd probably need, you know, just to, to get us started, I'd probably need three of them. So there's no way I could carry that now at all. And um, obviously it's a cheaper deal, so I have no idea what I'm going to do about the ice. But I've always done, it's not like I'm I'm hinting toward that someone else who would come by every so often and would help, never helped. I had asked him millions of times when he was here visiting, on the way out, could you, you know, I'll even open the bag if you can just pour it. Because even a 10-pound bag was hard, like I would take a, a solo cup and uh, just keep doing it with that back and forth until it got light enough where I could carry it. Um, but you know, you gotta do the porch, the stuff's on the porch, <clears throat> the walkway, that 10 pound bag just barely makes it down the steps and, and there's cement steps. Um, and then the first block of the cement walkway. So anyhow, that started me thinking that I better start thinking about that because, um, falling, uh, would not be a good thing. Again, we don't go anywhere, but we do have to get our medicine every month and, um, I have to start thinking ahead. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, they can help me at one end and put the thing in the car. And if you had a normal car, you could just keep it in the car. And then just, you know, actually I could get a bucket at the Dollar Tree and put it in the bucket and then just, you know, pour it out. But the problem is, as I explained about my car before, it freezes up. And anyhow, I couldn't have gone... If I said today, I'm thinking of because today was yesterday, you know what I mean? Um, I was thinking, anyhow, we couldn't get in the car. The doors just were so frozen, so we couldn't get in. So that's that, that. So, um, oh, yeah, that was my thought when um, it wasn't happening. You know, it was 11 o'clock, nothing happened. It was noon, nothing happened. I thought, well, we should go. But the car, I couldn't even get in then. Even though it was not as bad, the windshield, the car just still was frozen. I tried everything. Um, one subscriber said nothing works. You know, when I was getting my oil, that oil thing, I should have asked them. Oh, they wouldn't even know. I know, I'll just have to Google again and see if there's any suggestions. But anyhow, we we wouldn't have got in into the car anyhow. And this is my fear for the winter about, you know, getting into the car. But that would be a good good solution because I remember before my um my car stopped opening and I remember how many years ago I want to say let's see 10 years ago which it doesn't make sense so after being two years old it doesn't open I don't know well that's what it was I mean it gets frozen so anyhow um boy that would be a good setup because it's so I could have one at the door maybe a smaller one you know and then a bigger one at the car if I could afford, if I could afford, I just buy a whole bunch of ten-pound bags, which I could, you know, at least somewhat carry. Not carry to put it out because then you could dump it. You gotta be careful, and I, it's too heavy for me to like carry it to sprinkle it out where it has to go. And if you don't have snow, you have no idea what I'm talking about. It's not table salt, by the way. It's like, like rock salt. I don't know if this is called, but it's it's big chunks of salt, and you can hear it sizzling when it's breaking up the ice. God knows what's in there, but I don't want to know. So anyhow, I really got to start taking that uh, very seriously because we do have to get out for that. <clears throat> and I have to get Polly to the lab. Um, obviously, his father is totally washed his hands of his son, and um, he, he doesn't care. So there's so much stress on me. Um, because of him turning 18, where things have to be signed and done and everything, and I know it's going to happen, so... If the doctors are going to be cruel and not understand, they're going to dump him because he's 18, which they keep kids till 21, so I don't know what they're doing. But anyhow, I'm not even worrying about that. I'm just worrying about the salt to get to the car that doesn't open and so on and so forth. So I'm going to do some deep research on that and maybe call, like, Pep Boys if they're still around. I don't know. Just call uh, maybe where I got my car long ago. I don't know. Just call a car dealership. Who knows? I got to figure a way. But anyhow, so I just wanted to tell you about, it's kind of funny, but kind of not, that the first day of the snow, actually, they'll call it another first day when we get, like, 
um, I forgot the phrase, but anyhow, dump down, dump down, where there's so much snow you can't open your door. So that will be another first day. The people forget how to drive, and there's accidents, dumb accidents, and um, I guess an SUV went off the road, and the only way they did that, because they did not lower their speed, it really is not that hard, especially today. I mean, yes, it was icy. I wouldn't because um, of my situation. Not that it matters. His father wouldn't come to help. He's not answering calls, texts, nothing. But um, I wouldn't want to be in a situation that, you know, I broke something getting to the car. Or, um, you know, it was just my situation. If I was a married woman who had a husband who I could depend on, well, he'd be bringing me, I guess, if I had a husband who I could depend on. But, you know, we have a situation where, we have no one to depend on. If I couldn't even call anyone if uh, my car went off the road because of ice. I mean, it can even happen. I mean, I'm very safe, especially in the winter. I know you have to be, you know, totally like put your mindset in. This is like an ice skating ring. That's the way I look at it all the time because when you get dumped on with snow and if you're not home, people are at work, you don't, you don't have the luxury to look out the window and know there's ice under there. And I learned the hard way when I... Uh, fell. I was bringing some goodies to the convent where my kids went to school long ago. Whole bunch of goodies. So I'd have to make several trips and it was in the evening so it was dark and there was black ice which you can't see and I fell and the goodies went everywhere and I got hurt really bad. So it's a lot of bad things that come along with where we lived. Um, where we live. So anyhow, I don't enjoy, I dread going out and wondering how this is all going to happen. But um, I, I got to figure out this ice thing and uh, figure out a way, if there's a way to get in the car because that just has to happen. So anyhow, I just want to share with you, especially if there's any people who's never seen snow, it's not all it's cracked up to be. It's overrated. Um, you know, it's nice if you see it on Christmas morning. And that's about it. It can go away as far as I'm concerned, but it doesn't. So but I know everyone's having tragedies with, with um, the weather, the tornadoes, we've been praying for those poor people. That's horrible. Just, oh my gosh. And um, everyone has their cross to bear. And um, it's sad. Even if you're, you know, used to it, like people who live in Tornado Alley, I, I don't know how they can. I don't know where, how anyone, I would move. I would get out of Dodge. There's no way. The destruction that um, Orleans, what is it? Where they always get they got it again they build it up i don't understand are they a wealthy place or does their insurance homeowners insurance cover this i mean how many times with a homeowner's insurance cover to rebuild houses i don't know but it's devastating to look at but anyhow so if you have any kind of weird weather and when you have the first day of that weird thing let's say snow is it the same there where you are the first day of snow people just all of a sudden forget you gotta drive differently in the snow and as the weatherman said, when they catch on, then, you know, it's better. I mean, yes, there are accidents and all, but, you know, they're not, they're not foolish accidents. So that's all. I figure, you know, snow goes along with winter where we live and which goes along with the Christmas season. So that is the weather report here and the driving conditions and the silly slash foolish drivers. So we just decided not to go. Well, I shouldn't say we. The car decided not to let us in, maybe for a reason. Who knows? But for now, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, share, sharing is caring. Don't forget to pay it forward. It feels good in your heart, Polly's heart, and my heart. Be kind to people. People are going through hard times, like even now. Someone might be trying to get into their car, even to get to work. Maybe they couldn't get to work. I'm sure I'm not the only person whose car doors freeze up. So, um... Just think about other people. This is this is a season of giving, and make sure if you have it to give. You know, I don't hear any stories on, I don't know why I was going to say cool whip. I must have cool whip on my brain. About, you know, someone goes to, uh, I wouldn't know, I don't go to Starbucks, but Starbucks, everyone must go to Starbucks. They, they say they're at the drive through and they get their order, and they said the car in front of them paid for them. I don't hear any more of that on YouTube, so I don't know if people are too busy shopping and preparing, and they forgot to pay it forward but this would be a nice time if you're able to, to do it um it just sounds so nice when i hear those kind of stories but anyhow yep that's our weather and um i guess it's going to be when you're watching this there's going to have some more 
Um, I don't know. I don't even want to say. They're saying it shouldn't be too bad by the afternoon. But if we get no sun, it's still bad. My car won't let me in. So the first first order of business today, besides other millions of calls I got to make, is to um, call car places and see how to, what to do. Is there anything to do to be able to get me in my car? So anyhow, that's it. Okay, it is just over 20 minutes. Not too bad. I know they've been long. So I hope you're all doing well, getting ready for the holidays. Don't stress. Do what you can. If you can't get it done, it's okay. The reason for the season is the Christ child and um, the other stuff is just fluff. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again. Bye.